What's up dudes, welcome back, and we're time to get back at it on the El Camino. So we're at a very interesting stage right now where I've gotta kinda of pull it out and take it all apart because we're getting ready for paint, just chassis wise, yeah. So I'm sure in a previous video you saw how it currently sits and now we get to rip it all apart. I got some rust converter for the paint and stuff like that, but there's a lot of work to do before that. You gotta dig right in, check out all these welds, make sure everything is all good and nice and tight and tidy, clean them up, make them look good, make them make sure they're good and strong, make sure I didn't miss anything. And then in doing that, I'm just gonna check over every little bit of it, maybe seal up the floors on the inside and stuff. We'll get ready for paint, basically. So the plan of attack is I wanna paint the entire chassis, the roll cage, the floors, the interior, everything but the exterior body, which is like the front fenders, hood, back fenders, doors, and uh, the little piece of the roof and stuff you see right behind me. So once that's all nice and tidy and clean, uh, I'm gonna paint probably the cage. Well, what I've got in mind is just to do it like a really like a pastel based, like a kind of a gray color. So like sort of like that Audi, like it's almost primer, but it's kind of shiny. That's kind of how I'd like to do that. I'm gonna probably do the body black and we'll just make it look real cool. I'll probably, I, the custom painter in me <laughs> wants to make like crazy design and stuff on it, but I think this thing looks best with probably just black with the SS stripes on it. From far, it'll look like just a regular car and then you get close and realize what it really is. That's, I think, gonna be part of the magic. So, I'm gonna pull it away from the wall and start taking it apart. pretty stripped out to me now tomorrow morning I'll come in here with my coffee and I'll clean it up a little bit and start digging into the bigger stuff I'll show you what I mean the motor subframe all the suspension components the rear differential transmission of course sway bars rear suspension all that's got to come off so we'll just get a fresh start in the morning
where I gotta start cleaning stuff up. The plan is to get the motor and transmission out and then put it up on jacks and then I'll throw in, throw some stands underneath it and pull off the subframes, all the control arms in the front, the rear. Basically, we're just gonna strip it down to bare chassis as much as possible. And that way I'll be able to clean it up and work on it. It's almost time to start thinking about painting it and getting ready for final assembly, final stages. Stick around guys if you're new here, like, comment, subscribe and all that stuff if you wanna keep seeing what's going on with this thing. And uh, I don't know where to go, but move forward. That's so appreciate it. So it's stripped down dudes and it's uh, ready to be cleaned up and welded up and worked on. Uh, I got a lot of stuff to do, but at least it's kind of set up where I need it to be and the shop's getting sort of like workable area. It's kind of sort of almost clean. So let's just, we'll peace out, but we'll, thanks for watching dudes. Uh, if there's any questions or anything, go and check the playlist because you can find all kinds of information there on this build. Every step of the way has been documented so far and I plan to keep on going like that. So I hope you enjoy it. Peace out. See you next video. Let the tranny on all high. Let the cam and the youth drunk listen.